let's get started working on fractions of time units. Choose the best answer. 15 seconds is what fraction of a minute? Express the fraction in lowest terms. So we are comparing here 15 seconds with minutes. Now we, in order to make this fraction, we have to think about how many total seconds are in one minute. We know there are 60 seconds in one minute. So we know fractions are part over whole. So we're going to have 15 over a total of 60. Now we need to remember to do it in lowest terms. We need to simplify this fraction. So my first instinct is to divide them both by 5 because I know that 15 and both 60 can be divided by 5. So go ahead and do that. Divide by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 60 divided by 5 is 12. Hmm, doesn't seem like we simplified it all the way, since that's not one of our choices. I know that 3 and 12 can both be divided by 3. So we can divide both in the, the numerator and the denominator by 3 to get 1 fourth. So 15 seconds is one-fourth of a minute. Fifteen seconds is what fraction of a minute? Fifteen seconds. A minute is 60 seconds, so our part over whole will be 15 over 60. Fifteen goes into 60 evenly, so we can divide both by 15. to get one fourth. 15 seconds is one fourth of a minute. 10 seconds is what fraction of a minute? Well, a whole minute is 60 seconds. So part over whole will give us 10 over 60. Both 10 and 60 can be divided by 10. So to write this in lowest terms, we will divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 60 divided by 10 is 6. So 10 seconds is 1 sixth of a minute. 40 minutes is what fraction of an hour? An hour has a total of 60 minutes. So the part of our fraction, the numerator, is 40, and the denominator is 60. 40 and 60 can both be divided by 20. So we're going to divide both by 20 to write it in lowest terms. We're going to get 2 over 3. So 40 minutes is two-thirds of an hour. Thirty minutes is what fraction of an hour? An hour has sixty minutes. So we'll have thirty minutes over sixty minutes. These both can be divided by thirty, which gives us one half. That's why a lot of times, instead of saying in 30 minutes, we're going to go someplace, a lot of times people say in a half an hour. How many seconds are in three fourths of a minute? Well, there are 60 seconds in one minute. So that means that we know that the denominator is 60. And we'd want to know three-fourths of that. So what we can do is first divide 60 by 4 and then see how many three of those are. So we'll do 60 divided by 4. And we will get 15. So if one-fourth is equal to 15 minutes, all we have to do is multiply by 3 in order to get 3 fourths. 15 times 3 
equals 45. So 45 over 60 is the same thing as 3 fourths. How many seconds are in half a minute? Well, we know that there are 60 seconds inside of a minute. So we need to find half of 60. When you find half of something, that's the same thing as dividing by two. So we're gonna do 60 divided by two. And we get 30. So 30 seconds are in half a minute. How many minutes are in one sixth of an hour? Well, there are 60 total minutes in an hour. So we need to do 60 divided by six to figure out how much is in one sixth. And we get 10. There are 10 minutes in one sixty sixth of an hour. How many minutes are in five sixths of an hour? So again, we know there are 60 minutes in an hour. And first we figure out how much it is to be one sixth, and then we'll multiply that by five. 60 divided by six is 10. And then we will multiply that 10 by five since we have five of those sixths. Six. So it is 50 minutes. How many years are in nine tenths of a century? Well, there are 100 years in a century. I got that clue because a cent. Cent usually means 100. So first we need to figure out how many years are in one-tenth of a century. And we do that by dividing 100 by 10, which is equal to 10. And then we can multiply our answer for the one-tenth of a century times 9. 10 times 9 is equal to 90. So there are 90 years and nine-tenths of a century.